Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So I've made in the F200 with the HGLRC F4 board and surprise motherfucker. I was noticing noise, a l kind of a lot of noise really. Um, it was really affecting my flying and I was afraid to fly anymore. I flew it maybe what mm, three times. However, I recorded the FPV footage for you guys to see, so you guys can check it out and see what I'm talking about. Now, like I said, a 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor could work, but I think I'm going to stick a 1,000 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Um, these motors, or the ESC, something is just creating a lot of noise in this. However, I also no noticed that it's, it's actually very sluggish. I, d I thought it would be a lot faster than this, but it could be a tuning issue because it had a lot of uh, oscillations. And I didn't really have the chance to tune in because of the noise. Now the noise was between what, 50 to 90 percent throttle, like right at that sweet spot. You just constantly get lines. However, there was no blackouts. There was no um, OSD flickers. It was just noise, noise seeping in through. So we're gonna have to check the problem. We're gonna just add a 1,000 microfarad low ESR capacitor, and I believe that'll clean it right up. If not, then we're going to have to add maybe on a couple of ESCs, some capacitors. But I believe one 1,000 low ASR capacitor would probably solve it. Even a 470, but I'm just going to stick a 1,000 on there just to clean out the system and make it nice and clean. So let's take a look at the footage here. And, you know, it seems more, it seems a lot more uh, noisier than it really is in real life. Just the recording makes it seem a lot more noisier. Maybe it's like... I would say 20-25% less noisy. Uh, here it was totally fine. And then right when I started to do this, oh my god, this was so bad. Um, it, it was, it was alright here. I said, okay, I could cope with it if this was the maximum. But then it was just very terrible. And then it was just very scary. So I said, okay, I'll just try my best to do rolls without crashing. Just hard flips to see if we get any kind of flicker or any kind of blackouts. But I was very happy that I was really just monitoring the OSD. OSD is doing fine, so there's just a little cleaning up um, that'll I think it'll solve it right up. Um, I don't know if you saw it in the beginning, right before we launched. I think if we add that 1,000, it would actually make like the the worst part uh, of the, the, the not as bad. It won't be that bad if we like you know the worst part right now would be a lot less and not as noticeable. Or we should probably clear it all right up really. So here I was just starting to get a little bit scared, just trying to take it easy. As you can see, I'm trying to let go of the throttle as much as I can to have the noise go away so I can see what I'm doing. But as you see on rolls, it's totally fine, which is, uh, I'm very happy, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, it's holding up very well. And don't forget, these are 2408 motors. Hit arrow is bad. There was one stretch uh, punch out that I did was just very terrible. And when the battery voltage, when the battery starts draining lower and lower, it gets worse. So I don't know why it gets worse, or maybe it's just my flying changed a little bit. Or I, oh no, I probably had to give it more throttle, which is why we were seeing a lot more noise. <clears throat> so, yeah. Here it was totally fine. It was okay. Um, it was just fine right there. As you can see, around 50% and up, it would just get very bad. And the throttle percentage is the one all the way on the bottom left. And that's it. There we go. So, as you just saw, I mean, um, I think it's solvable when 1000 microfarad low ESR capacitor will clean it right up. Um, I have my real AC X210, which is running Emacs. I was having very bad blackouts, and it was just absolutely terrible to fly. And then even the OSD would pop in and out and reboot. <clears throat> but after I added that 1000, it cleared that up. So this is basically nothing compared to that drone, that, that quad that I have built. And it's my favorite one still. It's running an F3V3. And I really hope this one, I really want to make this one my favorite because I, I really like it. I don't know why, but I really like it and it seems promising. However, like I said, these motors felt sluggish, but maybe it's a tuning problem. Um... I don't know, I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting something of like the Emacs, the 2306, uh, the 2750 KV, a little bit more power, you know, but it was just, um, I did, I don't know, I didn't enjoy it, but maybe it was just, I need a tuning issue because it was oscillating so much, 
so we'll figure it out next flight will be the maiden hopefully i'll add louisa capacitor on this baby and we're gonna add it to the battery terminals right in there either on the bottom of it or on the top right where it goes in right here and we should be good we'll, we'll add that 1000 microfarad so that's gonna conclude it for this video guys um and i really hope it helped you out there and um and yeah that's it guys so i'll see you guys next time for the next flight and then we see what we're gonna do with this guy all right see you guys take care happy flying